last time I didn't get footage. This time I am definitely getting video. Video or it didn't happen. Thanks for coming, Drew. All right, so Drew shows up, and right away we get to work on the other side of the ceiling. Oh, we missed the spot there. It's, um, you know, they're different gaps, and so, yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> Yeah, this is what Fifi and Bob are doing while all the commotion is going on. No, Bob, I didn't get down to scratch you. I just showing the good people out there what you're you're being lazy. All right. Meow. Who's ready for my first cooking video inside the tiny cabin? Three ingredient dump cake. The three ingredients are a can of yellow cling peaches topped with a box of super moist white cake mix and then top that with slices of butter with uh, 350 Slap it in the oven for, I'm going to set the timer for 20 minutes and give it a check then, but it'll probably take at least a half an hour, maybe 40 minutes at 350. This is what it looks like a half an hour at 350, and I'm going to put it in another 10 minutes. Three ingredient dump cake just in time for dinner. Time to try the peach dump cake. It's not piping hot, but yeah, we ate a bunch of snacks earlier. All right, we just reviewed a bunch of foreign food. This is basically from Dollar General. Can of peaches with the juice, a box of cake mix, and then slices of butter on top. All right. I would say I made this for you before at your place on a campfire in a Dutch oven. And I would say that was better. Yeah. That was pretty good. Good afternoon for Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Wednesday. It is mid 90s. It has been sunny, but it's cloudy right now, so a little bit of relief. That's good. Yesterday, I did get some filming. You probably already saw that. So yesterday was Tuesday. Drew from Dutch Creek Cabin came over and uh, helped me with, with oh man, I'll, uh, I'll go inside and show you, or I'll pull a clip. Anyway, I'll show you what was accomplished yesterday, yesterday here. Uh, and then uh, we got a package from a YouTube channel in England 
Blue Van Man, Blue Van Man, and uh, just he does a lot of food reviews and and uh, just a very fun channel. Salty language over there in England, so fair warning about that. But yeah, we really appreciated the gifts from Blue Van Man. I'll put a link down below also. Uh, he just sent us a bunch of snacks that you don't find, at least I don't find them around here. And it was pretty fun. So if you want to have a look at that, we did a live show on Dutch Creek Cabin. I'll put a link to the, that live video below. We did a live video of us opening uh, prawn, potato chips, and uh, uh, marmite. And uh, there's just all kinds of stuff that you just don't see around here in America. It, that was a lot of fun. And then just for the heck of it, we did another live show last night at uh, about 10 o'clock, just me and Drew. Uh, we worked hard during the day and then we played hard at night. So over two hours of live shows yesterday. So I won't ramble on with this one. I'm about to go to town. It's been uh, eight days since I've left the homestead. That's not uh, very common in this day and age for people now. When was the last time you hadn't left your your home for uh, eight days? Well, I have left the home. I haven't left the homestead, though, for eight days. And part of that is because my radiator has a leak, and i got to take it on easy on this truck until that is resolved. So, And that's one of the things I have to leave for today. Anyway, so I'm going into town. This will probably be it for the video except when I get back from town I'll try to do a quick clip on what we accomplished yesterday but for now I gotta go into town and get some uh, supplies and food and I need some painting supplies my next project is gonna be painting and so alright here we go uh, thanks for watching watch this next clip of what we did yesterday a quick recap of what Drew and I were working on yesterday we finished the last board which had to be ripped and uh, so Drew did that and we ripped it and it goes in the bathroom also so that was the first project was to finish the ceiling and so we got all of that done um, I still need to do the trim in that corner but now I can do the trim in that corner now that that last piece of ceiling is up so that'll be something coming up and then <laughs> The next project was Drew went ahead and ripped all of this trim in half and so we will be using the thinner, uh, well not as wide, not as, yeah, not as wide trim um, for the upper part of the ceiling. So that's the four inch trim around that window and what we did was rip that in half and then so it'll be, those are like three and a half inches, they're not exactly four inches, they're like three and a half. So the trim up there will be like one and three quarter inches. And so that will, uh, he ripped all of the boards for that. Now, uh, that's not, my next project is not going to be putting up the trim because I need to paint first. You just, you gotta do stuff in order. Wow, this thing is bugging out. Yeah, you gotta do stuff in order. So I will not be doing trim up there next I will be painting again next and then the uh, the third project he worked on was he cut all of these cap boards for over uh, these walls so there's gonna be a basically a 1x6 on top and that'll give because right now it's just drywall with uh, with a gap in between the drywall and a 2x4 uh, wall frame a few inches down but so what we're gonna do is there's gonna be that cap on there then I'm gonna run the same trim uh, underneath that cap so uh, that'll give the, the cats a place to if they ever decide to spend more time with me indoors that'll give the cats a little cat walk up there but yeah those were just cut they were not put down or anything um, because the trim on both sides will have to be done. So that's what we did before we started eating all kinds of snacks from England. <laughs> okay, sorry no cats or chickens or not many cats or chickens. Uh, that was not the focus yesterday or today. So take her easy everybody.